Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of applications of integrals. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that three points, first is origin, the other is P, which is A comma A square, and the other is Q, which is minus B comma B square. And the further question it's telling you is A is positive, B is also positive. These three points are given to us. They are on the parabola Y equals to X square. So all the three points which are given to us, all the three points are on this parabola. When all the three points are on the parabola, the question further tells us S1 is the area of region bounded by line PQ and parabola Y equals to X square. And S2 is the area of triangle OPQ. The question further tells us if minimum value of S1 over S2 is M over N and GCD of M and N is 1 means there should not be any common multiple between M and N. Then the question is asking us to figure out what is the value of M plus N. If I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options, they are A, 2, B, 4, C, 7 and D, 9. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for this question that is given to us. Let's try to solve this question further and find the correct answer for this. Before starting off with the solution of this question, I would like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in the better way. Let's see the solution now. So we have been given three points O, P and Q which lie on the parabola Y equals to X squared. So we know how your y equals to x square looks like. So basically, y equals to x square means it's a vertical parabola. And since the coefficient of x square is positive, you have the parabola opening upwards. And they have given you three points on the parabola. One is your origin. Other is a comma a square. And the third point is minus b comma b square. So we have been given these three points. This is your origin O, this is P, this is Q. So we get this line equation also, PQ. So the question tells us that S1 is the area between the line PQ and the parabola Y equals to X squared. So between this line and the parabola, if I draw a strip, a vertical strip, I can see that vertical strip goes from minus B till plus A. So I get S1, the area, having the limits minus B to A. And it goes from the line and minus the parabola. So equation of line we have to find out first. So let's find that. So for equation of line PQ, I can use the idea Y minus Y1 is equal to M X minus X1. Now, once I have this with me, y1 and x1, if I see, I can put these points, let's see. So, y minus y1, so b square, is equal to slope. We will find the slope, x minus x1, so x1 is minus b. So, let's find the slope also for this line. So, slope, we know it as basically y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x2. So, that gives you y2 minus y1 if I do a square minus b square divided by a minus minus b. So, you get a plus b into a minus b divided by a plus b. So, this gets cancelled. 
you're just left with slope being a minus b so you get here y minus b square is equal to a minus b into x plus b if i further try to solve this i get y minus b square is equals to a x plus a b minus b x minus b square so minus b square minus b square cancels and if i see the equation of line you get here is y equals to a minus b x plus a b so you have it in the form y equal to a minus b x plus a b being the equation of line and we know whenever you have to use the idea of finding the area we use the idea of integrals which says apply the limits and if you are taking a vertical strip you are taking the function as y dx so if i want to write y in terms of dx it is going from the line to the parabola so y is a minus b into x plus a b minus parabola being x square dx so i have this s1 so further if i try to solve this i get s1 is equals to integral of a minus b into x so a minus b x square over 2 plus a into b with x and x square the integral for that is x cube over 3 the limits go from minus b to a so if i apply the limits let's see what i get a minus b a square over 2 plus a b into a so a square b minus a cube divided by 3 minus minus b so minus b square so b square a minus b b square divided by 2 plus a b into minus b so basically it becomes minus a b square and minus minus b cube so plus b cube divided by 3 so we get this entire idea now further if i try to solve this i get a cube minus a square b the whole thing divided by 2 so divided by 2 plus divided by 2 plus a square b minus a cube divided by 3 minus here if i do that same thing a b square divided by 2 minus b cube divided by 3 minus a b square plus b cube divided by 3. now here if i try to solve this it's b cube divided by 2 not 3 so let's yeah change this so further if i try to solve this idea let's see what i get so a cube divided by 2 minus a cube divided by 3 so if i cross multiply making the denominator same i'll multiply this with 3 and i'll multiply this with 2 so what i get from here is 3 a cube minus 2 a cube so a cube divided by 6 minus if i try to solve this a square b minus a square b divided by 2 so this is nothing but 1 and this is nothing but half so 1 minus half is half so half that's mean basically a square b divided by 2 minus this if i try to solve this further b cube divided by 3 minus b cube divided by 2 so i'll multiply this both sides with 2 and this with 3 so i get from here 2 b cube and minus 3 b cube so minus b cube divided by 6 and a b square so half minus this is one so half minus one is minus half so minus a b square divided by two. now further if i try to solve this i get a cube plus b cube divided by six and here i get a square b plus a b square divided by two so further if i try to solve this idea let's see if i can solve this further and get some easy value for this so if i do that i can make the denominator same right so let's make the denominator same so to make the denominator same i can just multiply this with three both sides so if i do that i get a cube plus b cube divided by six or the whole thing is divided by six now because you have made the same denominator so you get three a square b and three a b square now if i see here i can find out this is of the form a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube which is nothing but expansion for a plus b the whole cube and that's divided by 6. So I think this is the simplified form for s1 that we have. Now once I have s1 with me the question tells me s2 it's nothing but area of the triangle opq. So if I form a triangle opq, pq I have already joined so oq and op if i join 
So this is your triangle, and once you have the triangle, we know area of the triangle with three coordinates x1, x2, x3, and y1, y2, y3. It's given to us as half of determinant of x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, and the third column will have one. So from here, I get half of OPQ. So OPQ, you can use any of the coordinates. So minus B, B square, 0, 0, and A, A square. So let's find the determinant half minus B, 0 minus A square, minus B square, 0 minus A, so minus A, and plus 1, 0 minus 0, so 0. So you get half a square b plus a b square. So if I take out common from here, the area of triangle becomes half a b common. So you get from here, a is left and here b is left. So a plus b. So we get this right here. Home. Now this basically it's nothing but s2. Now, if I want to find out the minimum value of S1 over S2, first let's find S1 over S2. S1, we got that simplified as A plus B, the whole cube divided by 6. S2, we got that, that as half A into B into A plus B. So, A plus B, A plus B gets cancelled. Here, you have square of that. So, you get A plus B, the whole square, divided by 6. And this half... The 2 of half goes up, gets multiplied. So you get 2 times 1, 2 times 3. So you basically get a plus b the whole square divided by 3ab. So if I take out 1 over 3 common and expand this, I get a square plus b square plus 2ab divided by ab. So further, I find out this, try to simplify this 1 over 3. a square over ab, which is a over b, b square over ab, which is b over a. 2ab over ab cancels with this ab and you just left with 2. So basically I have split this ab with all of the 3. Now once I get this, this becomes the simplified form of s1 over s2. So a over b, b over a and 2. Now when I have to find basically the minimum value of s1 over s2, what we will do here is when you want to find the minimum value, we know this is a number. This is not going to change. Plus 2 you are adding. That's also not going to change. So indirectly you want to find the minimum value of this expression. So A over B plus B over A. You have to find minimum value for this expression. And if I use the idea of applications of integrals also the concept of minima and maxima. Let's consider one of them as the variable and the other as a constant. So if I consider A is a variable let's say. And if I differentiate. This, let's say this is y. So if I differentiate this y with respect to a, I get this is 1 over b and this becomes 1 over a. The derivative of that is minus 1 over a square. So minus b over a square. And if I put that first derivative equals to 0 to find a, I get from here 1 over b minus b over a square equals 0. So b over a square is equals to 1 over b. That gives me a square equals b square. And when I get a square equals b square, we have been told a and b both have to be positive. So the only possibility here is taking the square root, I get a is equals to b. So what I understand is if you want to find the minimum value of this expression, what you do is just find or just put a and b equal to each other. So if I put a and b equals to each other, you get the minimum value for this expression will become. So instead of a, I'll write b here. And here also B. So I get 1 because this cancels, this cancels. So 1 plus 1, the minimum value can be 2. And logically also, if you don't apply this idea of derivatives and just do the question, if you take any value, let's say greater than 1 or less than 1 or not equal to each other, this will, one of them will always become greater and that will always give you answer greater than 2. So that is always going to happen. So this is the idea that we have here. Now 1 plus 1, we have got the minimum value of this expression as 2. Once I get this 2, I got my ratio of S1 over S2, which is asked to us, the minimum value for that. So 1 over 3 and the entire expansion of this expression is 2. So 2 plus 2, 4. 
so you get 4 over 3. Now once you have that, the question tells us S1 over S2, the minimum value for that, it's nothing but M over N. So M over N is 4 over 3. Now once I have M over N equals 4 over 3, the GCD, that is the greatest common divisor between M and N is B, M being 4 and N being 3 in the ratio. I can have any common multiple, but if I have any common multiple, the GCD will not become 1. We want the GCD to become 1 means nothing should be common. The only value satisfies here is M equals 4 and N equals to 3 with both of these conditions. Once I get M4, N3, I have to just figure out the sum of 2, M plus N. So 4 plus 3, that basically makes it 7. So I get the answer for the question and that matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of applying the concepts of integration. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.